The average mammalian species lifespan is a million years. Homo sapiens only began to pop up around 100,000 years ago. So over the next million years, we're going to look extremely different, provided we don't go extinct. So what will humans look like in a million years? That's exactly what we're going to talk about right now on Life's Biggest Questions. Welcome back to LBQ, I'm Charlotte Dobre. Evolution is when genetic changes occur when genes mutate and combine in different ways during reproduction. Evolution is a natural process, designed to help a particular species survive and adapt, so it can continue to reproduce. You might think that humans might have reached a point where we can't evolve any further, but that is definitely not the case. We can still evolve in many different ways to ensure the survival of our species. For example, humans are still very vulnerable to certain diseases. There is the possibility that human bodies might merge with technology in order to extend our lifespans. The National Intelligence Council predicted that humans in 1 million years could have prosthetics, exoskeletons, and implants. Plants. We've already seen the development and implementation of artificial hearts. 3D printing will also revolutionize our bodies. The FDA has already approved a 3D printed skull that could replace 75% of a patient's skull. One of the most important factors that will determine what humans will look like in a million years is sex. Our idea of what is considered beautiful has changed many times over the course of history. You might think the strong, Aryan type humans will dominate, but that apparently isn't the case. According to Thomas Mayland, an associate professor at the Bioinformatics Research Research Center. Evolution is not about the survival of the fittest, it's simply about how many offspring you have. With the case of humans, the weak are the winners. Lower class families often have more children. Culture controls how many children we have. Culture also determines how early people have children. The earlier people have children in life, the more children they will have in the long run. Inevitably, the future human population of Earth will consist of far more weak offspring than strong. Furthermore, globalization, immigration, and cultural diffusion is leading to the mixing of genes. This will result in the dominant genes taking hold of the global population, and the recessive genes disappearing. Thus, in the future, our skin will be much darker, and so will our eyes. Eventually, all humans will look very similar, and race will almost completely disappear. Humans of the future will also be much taller, but with much smaller brains. The fact is, our brains are already getting smaller. The actual size of our brains has decreased substantially over the past 20,000 years, and that doesn't necessarily mean we're getting dumber. It means that our brains are becoming more efficient. Brian Hare, an anthropologist at the Duke University Institute for Brain Sciences, said that a smaller brain might be an indirect sign of higher intelligence. Furthermore, scientists believe that our faces will be extremely different in a million years. We could very likely have big eyes, flat faces, and tiny noses, or no nose at all, much resembling aliens. Perhaps our idea of an alien is in fact a humanoid that's evolved over a million years. Evolution happens very slowly. It's also incredibly difficult to predict what humans will look like in the future. Because genetic engineering could drastically alter Homo sapiens, to the point that we won't even resemble humans anymore in 1 million years. According to zoologist Douglas Dixon, humans of the future could have very strange characteristics. He bases his theory on the effect of genetic engineering and the possibility of space travel. Humans of the future could likely morph our genes to create genetically altered versions of ourselves. And the result of that is, needless to say, weird. Take this example, the aquamorph, a marine dwelling frog-like human. Dixon also illustrated the possibility that genetically altered humans could face a problem. They can't be altered in a lab anymore, so they begin to evolve naturally on their own. These examples might be reaching a bit, but who's to say what the possibilities are when you throw genetic engineering into the mix? What do you think humans will look like in 1 million years? Let us know in the comments below. For now, I'm Charlotte Dobre for Life's Biggest Questions. Don't forget to like this video, share it with a friend, and subscribe to our channel for all of your answers.